everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and welcome to my package slash update. Now you're all thinking, wait, what? Well, it's because I got a package, and this is going to be an update. But guess who just sent me the package? It is by the awesome dude who goes by JW Universe, James. I just got the package from him, it arrived in my mail, so as soon as I just received my package, I just have to film this video. Wow. Now, before I do get into the movies, look what James did. So beautiful. He packaged it with Superman tape. Seriously, you guys, this is a special kind of tape right here. Look at this. This is beautiful. James, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate this. Having your honorary Superman tape, man, it's super awesome. Superman. He's a big Superman fan for those that don't follow his channel, which you should because he has a very great channel. But I'm going to go ahead and carefully remove the tape so I can go ahead and show you guys what he gave me. <gasps> Shit. I just broke the back a little. And I promise I'm going to removing the tape slowly. Look at this. Very slowly. Mm. Very slowly. Almost got it. Almost got it. Almost there. Oh. Ah. I have successfully removed the Superman honorary tape. So now let me show you guys the movies that James just sent me. So the first movie that James just sent me is Trouble with the Curve, the movie with Clint Eastwood. I actually think this is a pretty underrated movie. I really enjoyed it, actually. I think this is Clint Eastwood's official last movie because I haven't really heard anything about him doing another. And I know he's focused on directing. And if Trouble with the Curve is really the last movie to have Clint Eastwood in it, then I would say... He ended with the bang pretty much because I do think it's a very nice movie. It's a very nice father-daughter movie with them. I thought Clint Eastwood was great here. You know, he's still Clint Eastwood, but he has his range and I thought he did a very good job. Same goes to Amy Adams, Justin Timberlake, John Goodman. The cast is great. The writing I thought was really clever and it was a very well-directed movie. And now the next one is Rio in Rio. I love Rio. I think it's a very wonderful animated movie with beautiful animation, great casting, a lot of funny moments, and very genuine heartwarming moments. I thought there was a lot of energy into this movie. The musical numbers had me dancing around. They were extremely catchy. And I really enjoyed the sequel too, but if I have to be honest, I do think the original is much better. I know not a lot of people really enjoy the Rio movies, and that's cool. We all have different opinions, but personally, I loved Rio, and I even liked Rio too. Ah, oh, Despicable Me. Yeah, that's right. The first Despicable Me. Not Despicable Me 2, because I, I honestly didn't care for Despicable Me 2. I didn't like it all that much. I just wasn't a fan of the sequel, and it was really disappointing when I saw in theaters. The first movie, though, I do enjoy it a lot. I think there's a lot of heart that was brought into this movie. Very beautiful animation. Steve Carell, he kills it as the voice of Gru. Like, he just owns the role. I love Steve Carell with these movies. And, you know, you have other great voice actors like Russell Brand and you have Miranda Cosgrove in here. And I really love the Minions. I mean, how do you not enjoy the Minions in these movies? It's just one of those movies that's nice to just sit down and relax to. And now the final movie that James just sent me is Cloud Atlas. In my opinion, this is one of the best movies of 2012, and I feel like it's a very underrated movie by the Wachowskis. In all honesty, this is the Wachowskis' best movie since The Matrix. And I know that's not a very popular thing to say, but that's just how I feel. 
I thought it was just a very immersive movie and you know for it being nearly three hours long I was never bored once that it just kept going and going and going. I love the connections between each of the world, you know, with humanity, the good, the bad, how all of these generations of people, they all have connections into one. It's just very interesting. It's the Wachowski, so of course the visual effects look stunning, especially once they're in the future. My mind was so blown. Everyone does a great job in their acting work. Tom Hanks, Halle Berry, Keith David, Hugo Weaving, etc. has brilliant writing and brilliant direction from the Wachowskis. I love Cloud Atlas. It's just a great movie overall with its messages, its storytelling. The not a movie for everyone, but to me, it's truly something special. So I love Cloud Atlas. Like I said, one of my favorite movies of 2012. I'm just glad to be owning this movie now. So special thank you to James for sending me this package. I really, truly appreciate that man. He has a very awesome channel. He's one of the coolest people ever. He's been in a few of my live Q and A's. Just a cool guy to talk to. So you guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend checking out his channel. He does movie reviews. He does unboxings. He reviews TV. The dude does all kinds of great stuff on his channel. So if you guys want to check out James's channel, JW Universe, I will leave a link in the description below. So everyone in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Trouble with the Curve, Cloud Atlas, Despicable Me, and Rio. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!